Everyone give me an A. Sick em, Bears, for all of you that clowned me for taking Baylor over Gonzaga. Who's laughing now? Because the Baylor Bears are your national champions and Gonzaga's perfect season is over. So how about that? I went with the underdog pick. I felt really good about where Baylor was coming into this game. And you know what? I had a feeling that I was right. So it feels pretty good, especially for all you guys that said you're stupid for picking against Gonzaga. How about that? How about them Baylor Bears? But what I'm here to do in this video today is give you guys my top five, top five games of this March Madness because this was the year of the upset. This is what many people are calling it. It was one of the best March Madness seasons that we've ever had or best March Madness tournaments. We had some amazing games and I want to give you guys my top five because we had upsets. We had one of the greatest games ever in college basketball history. It is an amazing tournament and I definitely got to rank at least the top five of these games so that's what I'm here to do today but before we get into that two things one guys do me a huge favor help sh uh, share the video around it would be greatly appreciated if you could smash that like button down below let's try to get over 100 to get to 200 and also hit that subscribe button if you love college basketball as well as I'm going to give some honorable mentions in this video obviously because there are so many great games there's definitely not some that I don't want to discredit for how good the games were i just can't fit all of them into this video so some of my honorable mentions i'm gonna go to the national championship game even though that game wasn't close the whole time it was some really really good quality basketball played and of course it was the national championship we crowned a national champion in that game and it was an amazing game so you got to throw that in there you got to throw that in there butler mitchell so many guys Massio teague so many guys on baylor were just on on point the whole game and it was really fun to watch I'm going to go UCLA-Michigan State in the first four because that game went to overtime. And we all know how big of implications that had on the rest of the tournament. I'm going to go some of the upsets. North Texas upset. The Ohio Bobcats upset. Um, look at some of the other games. You could go Loyal Chicago beating Illinois. There was lots of really, really good basketball games played here. Oh, um, Michigan-UCLA, definitely I'd throw that in there. Lots of good, good basketball played here. And... I got to get into my top five now. I definitely missed some, so don't be too upset if I miss your favorite team in a game because I've got the main ones, but I definitely, it, some of these games were so long ago that I can't remember everything. So if I forgot one of your favorite teams, big upset, I apologize. My bad hand up fouls on me. Let's get into the top five. So starting off at number five, I am going to go with number five. What should I go with? Number five, I'm going to go with Abilene Christian versus Texas. Abilene Christian versus Texas, the last game of the first round. Now, if you remember that game, it was the last game of the first round. Texas was favored to that game by a ton. Like, they're the three seed. Abilene Christian coming in as the 14th seed. And Abilene Christian was down one with a couple seconds left. They have a guy at a line who's like shooting 50% from the uh, from the charity stripe on the season. And he goes up and he nails two th huge free throws to be able to put Abilene Christian up 53-52. to 52. And obviously, Texas's player goes on, misses the game-winning three, and Abilene Christian goes on and has one of the bigger upsets of all of March Madness. A 14 beating a three, that was pretty fun to watch, especially the last game of the first round. It was a great way to wrap it up. And Texas was coming into this tournament. Many people had them going to the Final Four. I mean, they just won the Big 12 tournament there's lots of reasons to think that this texas team was going to make a deep run but as you know the madness begins and abilene christian was able to take texas off the board next game up i'm gonna go alabama ucla that was an amazing game again it wasn't the greatest basketball display that we've ever seen but it was just a great representation of what march is and just how chaotic those games get and how you just have to show up when the moment hits you and do something special to be able to get your team back in it. And that was a back and forth game the whole way. An amazing game there, obviously going to overtime on a buzzer beater. And then UCLA obviously took the reins from there and it wasn't close after overtime, but any buzzer beater game in March Madness, whether it's a game winner or just tying the game and sending it to overtime definitely deserves a top five spot because that was an amazing game. So Alabama, UCLA, definitely deserving of a top five spot. So I put that one at number four. Number three, this is a really tough one for me to decide between because there's two games that could easily be either way because they are both amazing games. But at number three, I'm going to go with Oral Roberts versus Arkansas. 
you have a 15 seed with a chance to go on and make it to the first Elite Eight that any 15 seed has ever made it to. And it comes down to a missed three-pointer by Abe Smith just off the front iron. It was a heart wrencher for any, if you were watching that game, no matter what team you were cheering for, it was a heartbreaker. It was a heart pounder. Your heart would have been going the whole game. Like it was that close. It was an unbelievable game. Hard fought by both teams. Again, not the cleanest of basketball games that we've ever seen, but I think that's what really makes college basketball great is just these chaotic games that just end in absolute madness. And that fits the term March Madness that game because it was insane. You have Arkansas coming in, Eric Musselman leading Arkansas, who was, again, another team that was highly favored to make a deep run going in. They go to the Elite Eight, but they're faced up with a team that they've already played this season and Aura Roberts, who's having the greatest Cinderella story we've seen in a while. So... It was, it was a really, really fun game to watch. And it's not hard to guess what my number two is because these games are kind of connected. But I have Oral Roberts versus Ohio State as my number two game. A 15 seed beating a two game is always going to be up there because those games are not easy to come by at all. But to have that 15 to two upset come in an overtime, usually when you see games like that going to overtime, the better team which the higher seeded team usually comes out and is more dominant and wins the game because they know how to win in those kind of situations. But it was Oral Roberts coming in and I'm pretty sure winning 75 to 72 against Ohio State in that game. Crazy. It was just the biggest bracket buster of the whole tournament. Ohio State coming off the runners up of the Big Ten tournament. They had a big win against Michigan early on in their postseason run in the Big Ten championship. This was a team that was looking to also make a deep run and in comes this team that no one's ever heard of called Oral Roberts. And they go on and they beat Ohio State. They go and they beat Florida and then sadly lose to the game that I just talked about. The last game, Arkansas versus Oral Roberts. But still, that game was absolute madness. Bracket buster. No one, I think there's one person in my pool who just randomly picked Oral Roberts to beat um, beat Ohio State. And they got it right. But like no one, no one had Oral Roberts winning that game. So that was an unbelievable game. And then finishing up this video with the number one spot, it's not an, it's not a hard decision at all. Like this, as soon as the game ended, I knew that this was going to be the number one. Obviously, I'm talking about the Virginia Tech-Florida game. This game went to overtime. It was the first game of March Madness. And this had the most implications on how the tournament actually went on. I'm joking. I'm messing with you guys. Don't, don't. I'm just trying to have fun here. Obviously, the game that I'm talking about is UCLA versus Gonzaga is the number one game. Set the stage. You have a team coming from the first four all the way to the final four. That doesn't happen often. An 11 seed going to the final four. And then you have this team with a perfect season looking to be one of the greatest college basketball teams, if not the greatest basketball college basketball team of all time, coming in with the perfect season, trying to get to the national championship, meeting up in the Final Four. Gonzaga comes in as the biggest favorite ever in Final Four history, and yet this team in UCLA just will not go away. They won't go away. The whole game, it was back and forth. You were thinking the whole game that, okay, this is now when Gonzaga's going to pull away. This is when Gonzaga's going to pull away. This is when Gonzaga's going to pull away. But each and every time that that thought came into your brain, UCLA just came back and hit a couple buckets, and they were right back in it. And for most of the time, UCLA actually had the lead in this game. It was such a classic college basketball game. I think this is the reason that you fall in love with the sport for games like this. The game goes to overtime, and then finally... In the last couple seconds of the game, I'm pretty sure it's Johnny Juzang shoots the ball up, down two, misses, grabs his own rebound, turns around, lays it off the glass, tie game, looking at like it's going to go into double overtime with three seconds left, but obviously Suggs has different plans, pulls up from just past half court and nails one of the greatest shots in college basketball history. What a game that was. Everyone after was like, that is a top three college basketball game I've ever watched so that was easily the number one game of this whole tournament and it was an amazing tournament again amazing tournament we're gonna have an amazing games next year hopefully but with COVID and everything what all these teams had to go through this is definitely gonna be a tournament that no one will forget especially after the year where we missed March Madness so it was an amazing season and I'm so grateful that we got to watch a bunch of these games so thank you guys so much for tuning in like the video give me your rankings down below in the comments subscribe definitely thank you for watching and definitely come back next time